Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we are just moments away from hearing from John Moxley. He made his return to Dynamite one week ago. We hadn't seen him in a couple of months, Tony, and he had some very, uh, it's, I don't, it's very uh, mysterious, confusing statements. Yeah, confusing is right because he looked at me right in my eyes and said what he said. It's not your company anymore. And I don't know what he was talking about, but listen, he's got a pretty tough lady with him in Marina Shafir. Ladies and gentlemen, GM Moxley! Yeah, I know, you know, I know Moxley pretty good, I gotta tell you. And uh, I was a little confused also by what you guys were talking about, what Mox said last week in the ring as he was leaving Shivani to you. I don't know what that meant. You know, it's not your company anymore, all that kind of jazz. And, and this relationship, friendship, or whatever it is with Marina, I mean, she's, she's tough as hell. That's well documented. Well, you know what? Let me, let me tell you this, it was weird from the beginning. Even the way he was talking before he turned around and said what he said to me. Yeah, it's very clear that over the past few months, John Moxley's had a lot of time to to think, to gather his thoughts, and you know what what may seem clear to Moxley is not clear to the rest of us, but maybe that's how John wants it. He is a man cut from a a very unique cloth. Yeah, John unpredictable, Moxley. definitely dangerous and unpredictable is Mox. I wonder if Darby Allen is somewhere out there in Milwaukee tonight. No, I don't think so. Some years ago, I wrestled a young kid I'd never heard of. Nobody had, he had nothing in the world. He slept in his car, he stood no chance against me, but he showed no fear. I beat the absolute piss out of that kid for 20 minutes, and afterward, he looked at me and he smiled. And at that moment, I knew that kid was special. And I still think that. Darby Allen is his own man. He walks his own path. More importantly than that, Darby Allen plays the game the way it was meant to be played with reckless abandon. Darby Allen knows that the chance to be in this sport, the greatest sport in the world, just the chance to be in this business, to get into this ring, to perform in front of all these people on this TV show, that is a privilege. That is not, that is not something you are entitled to. How quickly we, how quickly we forget that. I am not an impatient man, but the clock is ticking, Darby. I just want to talk. Let's make this easy. I don't want to apply any pressure, but I will, so don't make me. Darby. I just want to talk. Wow. Bob. Bob, that was succinct, right to the point. Yeah, but, but what's it all about? Hey. Well, you just said, yeah. bringing endorsement towards Darby. He respects him. He battled him in the past. He just wants to talk. So, not sure, though, what you, what you, Shabbat, what you're saying. I mean, I know what you're saying, and it is a little confusing. And I think that's what Mox is doing with these riddles, Excalibur. He's got us all kind of confused. Yeah, right? very yeah. sphinx-like statements from John Moxley here tonight aimed at Darby Allen. But right now, let's head to the back where Renee Paquette once again is standing by.